Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install PostgreSQL 16.4 and PG Admin on Windows 10 or 11 operating systems. First go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. PostgreSQL.org. Hit enter. See here, 16.4 is released on August 8, 2024. So click on this download or download, both are same. So click on download then click on windows then click on download the installer okay click on the download the installer see here these are the downloadable versions okay so first is equal version number operating system and see here we have the windows so click on this download button click on it see it automatically started downloading go to downloads control j See, its size is 357 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. See, download is completed. Now click on this exe file. Click on next. See, this will be the installation directory for the PostgreSQL 16. If you want to change, you have to click on this browse button. Then you have to select the path. I'm okay with the default one. Okay, so click on next. These two components are grayed out. That is PG admin for and command line tools. So I'm going to keep all as it is and PostgreSQL is the mandatory. See, this is the PostgreSQL database server and PG admin for is the GUI tool. Stack builder is the tool used to install the additional tools, drivers and applications. And command line tools are like libpq that is library space backup and all so click on keep all these as it is and click on next and this will be the data directory if you want to change as again you have to click on browse button then click on next then provide the password for super user super user is postgres okay so you have to remember this username and password so i am giving password for this super user confirm the same then click on next and this will be the port number. So 5432 is the default port for PostgreSQL. Okay. So click on next. And lo local settings. I am going with the default local. Then click on next. See this is the installation summary. Like installation directory, server installation directory and all. Okay. If you want to edit any one of them, you have to click on back, back. Otherwise click on next. See now ready to install the PostgreSQL. So click on next to install the PostgreSQL on this machine that is windows 11 but the process is same on windows 10 also so click on next see installation has been started wait until installation completes See, installation has been completed. Now, if you want to install the additional tools, you have to keep the checkbox as it is. Otherwise, uncheck it. So, click on finish. Now, if you go to start programs, all applications, then go to application starts with P. See here, we have the PostgreSQL 16. See, we have the PG admin 4 and PSQL shell. Now open PSQL shell, then server name is localhost, so no need to give, otherwise give the localhost. Hit enter, database, default database name is Postgres, hit enter, 5432 is the port number, username also Postgres, then provide the password that we have set at the time of installation. See, we have successfully connected, but see here, this is the PSQL client version, not the PostgreSQL server version. So verify PostgreSQL version by running in the command select version semicolon C. This is the PostgreSQL server version. Now open PG admin. Just search for PG admin for click on open. Now click on add new server or right click on these servers and click on register then select the server. Both are same. So I am giving the pg16 this is the just name name can be anything but if you go to the connection tab here we have to give the host name or 
address. If you don't know the host name, open cmd, give the host name. See, this is the host name. Or simply, you can give local host because it is installed on this PC. Local host. Then, port number 5432, maintenance database, Postgres, username also same, Postgres, then provide the password as we have given earlier. Then click on save. See, expand it. See, we have only one database. If you go to backslash L, see, we have only one database. Remaining two are the template databases. Okay. So, if you want to create new database, right click, then select create, then select database. Then provide the database name. I am giving R2 codes. So, okay. OID is the option. If you want to provide, if we can give. See here we have the different settings like template. If you don't provide any one, it will take the default ones. Parameters SQL. See, this is the syntax. So click on save. See, new database is created. Go to the PSQL shell, you run the same backslash shell. See, new database R2 schools is created. If you want to switch to new database, you the backslash C, then R2 schools. See, now you see here message, you are now connected to database R2 schools as user Postgres. If you want to see the list of the users, backslash D. See, we have only one user that is Postgres. So, if you want to create new user, create user James with password, give the new password. See, we have successfully created a role. It is slash du. See, we have two users. Even we can verify those. See, new user James is added. We can also create user from here. Right click on login our group, create, then login our group role. Then provide the name. David, this is the username or role name. Here we have to provide the password. I am giving caps David at one two. Click on save. See, here this is the connection limit. Minus one means minus one means unlimited connections privileges. If you want to grant super user, you have to select this one. If you want create roles, you have to select only this one. If you select super user, user have the all access. Okay, you can log in. You have to select yes. Members parameters SQL. See, this is the syntax. Okay, so click on save. See, new user is created. You can verify from here also. Slash du. See, new user David is added. Now, if you want to create table in this database you can use the create table student s name int primary key s name pair cap see table is created if you want to verify give the forward slash data See, new table is created. If you want to verify data, you have to run the command, select star from student. See, there are no records. So, let us insert some data into this table. So, I will show you this, this insert commands in the pgadmin. Okay. Now, right click on this database, query tool. Also, verify, go to schemas, public, then scroll down, tables. See, here we have the student table. So, let us insert some data into this table. Insert into student values 100 James put semicolon then select the text then click on execute. See insert one, one means one row inserted. Change the values here. Select it insert. One more row is inserted. Now verify the data. Select star from student. Comment this line. Now run this command. Select it. See, we have the two rows. Okay, this is the way to install. Last option that I am going to show you how to start start and restart the PostgreSQL on Windows operating systems. Windows run, then run this services dot msc. R, open command prompt. Here also you can run the services.msc. See, you got the same tool. Okay. So, go to the tool, then press P. 
see here we have the process equal 16 see its status is running and startup type is automatic so if you want to stop so select the service here then click on stop if you want to restart you have to click on restart the service here also we have the stop link and restart so right click on it stop it or if you want to restart you have to restart all three options are same okay so i am going to stop it okay see now status is blank which means it is stop stop option and restart option are gone even now if you try to open esql you, you won't be able to connect to it use the same same then see we are unable to connect okay because it is stopped see connection to server failed so let us start it click on the start button now enter now open psql click on it hit enter 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 same then now it is asking password so provide the password okay so we have successfully connected so in this video we have seen how to download install process equal 16.4 and pgadmin4 on windows 11 operating system then we have seen how to connect to process equal 16 from psql client tool and pgadmin then we have seen how to create database and users then we have seen how to start start and restart process equal service on windows operating systems for more process equal videos please subscribe my channel thank you